All right, everyone, welcome back. Today we are testing every single mask on Amazon, and today we are testing the ever popular PS Direct masks. Oh, I did the wrong thing. PS Direct masks. We've all seen PS Direct. You've seen the ads, I'm sure, on Facebook and Google and in the movies. I'm just kidding, I've never heard of this. Um, but uh, it's a mask, and it was on Amazon, so I'm gonna test it. All right, let's take a look at the packaging. Kind of this uh, flimsy packaging. So uh, this kind of packaging, you squeeze it and you can feel air coming out of it. Probably because of the hole that's in there, Lloyd. Maybe that's where the air is coming from. Some people. Um, don't love that because, uh, you know, Amazon's just gonna throw this in a box and it was sitting in a container in an Amazon warehouse. Like it's, oh man, this is gonna smell like all sorts of weird stuff. You know what I mean? And then look, they're just flopping around in there like, just in front of God and everybody, just like, wow. This is the worst packaged masks that I've ever seen. <laughs> so this is what happens when you put it in a bag. You're gonna get masks like this. Look, at the, at the beginning of the pandemic, we, w we accept this, you know, but not, not anymore. Come on, we want style. We want, we want sex appeal, you know? We wanna be lulled into Buying good things. Wow, that's actually really... Why does that happen every time? Every time I get excited and then it's like... I was giving it a good pull though. I don't think that... I think that maybe if you wore all of these, maybe one would pop off. That's pretty good. I don't use the word hate often, but I hate the way these masks look. I mean, look at... Okay, so this is just an example of these guys. And usually, by the way, this translates. Um, I've found... When, when someone, like if you look at the construction of something, I find that it translates to the quality of filtration, which we're gonna test in just a second here. But look at, you see how you have this like stamp that's holding up the uh, ear loop there? And then you have the stamp over here and it's way down and it's off centered. And then it's here and it's here. It's like, burp, 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 burp. it's like pick a lane. What is this pattern? Is this some sort of secret code that you're sending me across the ocean? Like why not put them in the same place? And then I can see through this. I can see the nose wire just like right there. It's not a nose wear. I don't think it's a nose wear. Can I have the scissors? So I've been noticing this on some Chinese masks. Oh, <gasps> it's plastic. Wow. So when they are really cheaping out on masks and these are going for about $6 on Amazon, they do this like plastic thing. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like these masks. Let me tell you that. I'm gonna put it on right now. Let's see, look. I usually bend it like this, but look, it's like, I'll show you what happens, by the way. When you try to bend it and conform it to your nose. See, look at that. See how there's that air gap there? You see the air? air if air can get in, so can the Rona. Hmm. You get glass fogging, things like this. They should not call these masks PS Direct. They should call them Foggio Glasses Direct. I am out of control right now. All right, let's smell this thing. Ooh. Ah. I'm gonna call this, and, and I've used something similar before, but I'm gonna call this uh, an unfamiliar kitchen smell. You know, it's like you go into somebody's house for the first time, they invite you over. It's like you new neighbors in the apartment building, and it's like you don't wanna be rude, so you go over, and then like they're cooking something, you're like, I'm not sure what that is, kinda of weird, I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm getting out of here. That's what this smells like. All right, let's test this. Smell rating, about three stars. one put plastic in your masks although i will say and, I, and i'll actually say this these are plastic if you're going to go in an mri if this tests well which we'll see in a second that's actually a feature if i do a review on amazon and this tests well i'm going to be like mri friendly so because you can't have metal in an mri i don't know if you know that kids we're gonna see what this ends up being, but 34 is the lowest airflow resistance I have ever seen in my, in my existence as a lab tech, which I've actually, ne I'm not really a lab tech. I just had them embroider this on a lab coat, which you can buy on Amazon, by the way. All right, uh, PS Direct products, um, adjustable nose bridge, one size fits most. Breathe the <laughs> breathable face protection. Okay, comfortable ear loops. 
built-in filter. Disposable design. They're designed to be disposed. <laughs> okay. Weird flex, but okay. Guys, this is the worst I have ever seen of any mask that we have tested ever on this machine. My machine right now is going like, hey, uh, are you gonna insert the mask yet? I hate that question, by the way. 25%? Um, uh, so here we go, uh, efficiency uh, 26.460, also known as the worst mask on Amazon. One star, wow. Just, I mean, they're making any claims, but still the gall. I mean, I don't, what, what, why, why, why? To make like, what, a penny more? I mean, Melbourne's not that expensive anymore. Why, why, why? I don't understand. I don't understand like the reason to make fake PPE anymore. Like I don't understand. I, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, but I'm gonna dislike it. Not because I thought the video was bad, because I thought this mask was so bad. So, but seriously, don't, don't dislike the video. That would really hurt the algorithm. All right, thank you guys very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you were as blown away as I am, like you should get a better hobby because you, this is sad. We live in a sad existence right now. All right, I'll catch you at the next test. Stay with me.